on guys? Today I wanted to do something a little bit different than my usual thing. Microsoft was kind enough to send me out one of the brand new Microsoft Surface books with the performance base, the i7 chip, and the thing from the specs at least is really really awesome. So on the channel today I wanted to do a little bit of like an unboxing video and then go in and give sort of my first thoughts on it and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get in to this crazy little machine. I call it a machine, it's probably more of like a work of art, the way this thing is put together. So the first thing, you gotta undo this little tab here to take some like sticky tape off to actually let you open up the box. And then once you've done that, you can lift it open sort of like that. It's very like Apple style, which I mean, I've always been an Apple guy, so it's very familiar to me, but it, it, it's always a nice feeling when you come into a thing like this and you get such a nice presentation. It's like, it all looks super clean and nice and it's just like laptop, accessories. It looks really great. So I guess we should get into the accessories first. Okay, slight problem. I can't get these out. So in the little box of things we have, that is one part of the power cord. This is the power brick part and the part that connects to the, uh, Surface Book itself, and I think that's it that's in there. All right, so let's put that off to the side. That's pretty self-explanatory. And I mean, we do have a USB on there as well, which is pretty nice, I must say. This is my first Microsoft Surface product. I've always been a Mac guy. Actually, I say that. I have two custom-built PCs that are both Hackintoshes, which means they run both Windows and Apple software. But I don't know, the new Macs haven't really impressed me very much. So I don't know, it might be time for a change and go with this. So this is the Surface Book itself. It's got this really unique design. It's sort of like a tapered design. It goes thicker to, to thinner down here. We've got a nice little camera there and it, it's actually really light and nice feeling. All right, so let's just put this off to the side for a second. And under here we have, again, very Apple-like, a little book of things and these are gonna be instruction manuals and whatnot. So instructions in the bin. Uh, we'll hope there's no goodies in there. And finally, this special little pen. Now this pen is pretty awesome. Are the batteries inside here already? So something really cool you can do with the pen is just sort of clip it to the side like that and it just sticks there really, really nicely. Now one of the complaints that I saw a lot on the first gen Surface Book is that the screen was re really wobbly. And for something that's like a touch screen, you're going to be touching the screen a lot. It's still kind of wobbly. That would be my one sort of downside, one sort of con so far. So something really cool that I just noticed actually is that we've got a really nice camera here on the front with, I guess, a microphone and a, and a sensor for distance. And the same thing on the front here. We have a camera up here with, I guess that's a microphone, maybe a flash and something else there. So all right, I guess we should boot this up for the first time ever, go through the setup process and get going with this thing. All right, so let's give this thing its first boot up power button here on the top. Let's hope it comes with some charge. Yes, it does, pops up, says Surface on the front. We've got a nice little backlit keyboard. Now, one of my favorite features of, of the Surface uh, that's basically in the stats is that it has a 16 hour battery life, apparently. And for someone like me, who's constantly traveling from place to place to place, this is gonna be great to, to take on planes, take on travel, and do some proper decent work on it because with my old stuff, I've just never been able to. It's like this thing shouldn't have a problem pumping out videos for you guys, uh, recording stuff with an Elgato. So I, I think it's gonna be great. So we have to set up the pen. So the pen itself, I guess, com comes with batteries in it and we have to hold the pen button for five seconds. So we go, I feel like I'm pressing like a bomb. I feel like I'm James Bond. Three, two, one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I guess I can stop holding it now. It says setting up your device. I feel like I can clicky click and pairing was successful. Click once, that's a Windows workspace. Double click does something else, shoots out a thing. That's pretty cool. I've never had a touch screeny laptop before. So, so that's gonna be something pretty cool. <gasps> I can click. Oh, and I get my Wi-Fi's. Okay, well let's get on there. This whole thing is very, very confusing for me. Like, how does it work? Is the, the storage would have to be in the screen. And then all like the performance stuff would have to be in the bait. Oh, we're in, we're in, okay. So if I wanna disconnect the screen, I just press that. Maybe I hold that. Do I hold that? Okay, it says green and that means like, good to go, you're good to take it off. Cool, it is in tablet mode now. 
Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I want to... Can I... I click this. Yeah. And then I get Sketchpad. And I can... Oh, God. I'm not that talented. Sketch screen? Oh, I can just draw my screen. So if I write, like, A, R, 12, I can, like, screenshot that now. That's really cool. And I can change, like, colors. I can change colors. Blue! Hashtag blue. That's so sick! Can I, like, screenshot that then? I can. I can go save and just save it. Now, where did that save to? I should have probably checked. So wait, then can I see what I've just drawn? Sketch. That's so cool! All right, well, there was a first little quick look at, uh, at this guy. The thing is really, really cool. So let me cut away and I will be back in one second. It will look like one second for you. It will take quite a while for me. So all right, well, it probably looked like just a simple cut to you guys was actually a lot of work. Uh, when I was downloading the game, Alan actually reminded me that Forza, Motor, or Forza Horizon 3 probably isn't the best test just because of how many PC problems the game's had already. He suggested try to download Forza Motorsport 6 Apex and use that as a baseline. Uh, it should be a much more like fair test basically to see how powerful this thing is. So this is Forza Motorsport 6 Apex. It's the PC version of Forza Horizon 3. It actually went through an update a little while ago, so if you didn't hear about that. I'll include a link in the description down below for that, but um, anyways, I wanted to jump in and see if this is actually playable. So a Ferrari, I mean, my aspect ratio is a bit weird, but other than that, I guess we're all good. Also, apologies that this camera doesn't have like the best color stuff. Uh, I mean, the game itself looks like it would look on an Xbox One. The game looks amazing. The other thing that I can happily say right now is that the speakers sound really, really good. There's a speaker whoop, up here and up here and they sound really, really good. I'm getting some really good sound quality. So just spinning the camera around, it doesn't lose any frames or I mean, it drops 0 0.01 of a frame. But you can see a frame rate timer in the top, uh, top of the screen there. And I'll let you know if it drops anywhere considerably. But for right now, it's just not. Let's see if we can get any smoke going. Maybe that'll have an impact. Nope, it's not dropping any frames, actually. That's really impressive. I'm trying to do things to hopefully get the game to try to drop frames. I'm trying to force it to drop frames almost by looking around a lot and crashing into stuff, having a lot of stuff going on on the screen and nothing's actually happening. And then jump in a race with 12 other players and try to break this thing. Now, one of the other things I noticed when I was actually just moving the uh, Surface Book around a little bit is that the bottom part of the of the computer right here where you put your hands is like cold. Over here you're getting a little warmer and up here actually and on the back of the screen is actually where it's like really really hot. I mean it's sat at 30 frames per second before quite happily so. Alright we're at like 25 frames a second jumping up to 29 and now it's just chilling at 29 to 30 frames a second. That's pretty impressive, even bumping into people with all these cars on the screen, all these cars being rendered at once. It's like we're getting smoke coming out of the car, there's all these people on the screen, and we're not dropping frames considerably. That's, that's really cool. Anyways, it's playing totally fine and you can just pull off some sweet slides in a McLaren that's a race car and you probably shouldn't be sliding like that. But it works! Anyway, so I think that's a pretty good little stress test of the uh, Microsoft Surface Book with the performance base. It can handle Forza Horizon, or Forza Motorsport 6 Apex. And I mean, just look at the quality. It's not bad. So anyways guys, I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, you guys can subscribe down below for more videos like this in your subscription box. Thanks again to Microsoft for hooking me up with the Surface Book. And thanks for watching, smash the like button. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!